Hello and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Sunday, July 12th, 2020. And today's topic is called Lightning Round and Sky Cloaking. It covers a collection of some images happening between July 6th and July 10th and also some happening on June 23rd, 2020. And before we get going, I'd like to say good day, osio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, Kia ora, jambo, buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, tien dobre, konnichiwa, dobro wenya, anyo aseo, boa tarji, dobri den, aloha awinala, galimera, and hudendach. Now the starter image just is of something I encountered on the street, literally, it was there like this when I walked up. And so I'm asking you if this message uh, from nature means anything to you or does it speak to you in some way? Uh, to me, it kind of felt like something profound was happening here, but I can't quite put my finger on it, so maybe you can. The sticks remind me of dowsing rods or lightning bolts, and they just seem to go with today's lightning round theme. And on that score, I am starting off with lightning round, and then we'll get to some of the interesting, very interesting cloaking crafts or inter interdimensional objects. Um, but it's lightning round twofold, because I'm going to show you a lot about lightning going on and what seems to be very odd about the light sources in it. And then I'm going to have to go through very quickly, just um, in interest of keeping the show at a, a reasonable time, not too long running time. And so on some of the sequences, I'm going to go through real fast and just know that, you know, have at it and look at your leisure when, when you want to or pause the video when you can and, and have a longer look. Um, so here we go. This is a cloud, a very distinct cloud, blocking the sunset at exactly where would you, you would view it uh, to the northwest. And not just west, but northwest these days and even more north by the minute. But anyway, to the left is the resting position of this quote-unquote cloud. To me, it's still very artificial looking and generated. Um, and then to the right, you get this flash. Now, I took a video and then isolated this frame as a still. And what I've been noticing is lately, um, in a lot of the storms I've been capturing that don't feel authentic, let's just say, or natural, they seem maybe artificially seeded or created. Uh, seeded, that's S-E-D, sorry, S-E-E-D, like seeds, seeding, cloud seeding, um, or generated in some other artificial way. It just seems that the there's no bolts. You know, you just get a big blinding flash of light and no bolts. So anyway, my camera is reflecting that because it acts weird when it, it receives uh, like an artificial light, you know, versus a lightning bolt. And I've taken pictures of both with this camera and, and the camera knows the difference. So as we move on, I captured this sequence on June 23rd. It just felt odd. It just felt like the flashes weren't behaving like lightning and you could not see any bolts. So the upper left, it's uh, we're looking at like 8.40 at night. You know, you just see this ball, okay? And then another peak of one beyond. We move along and just the, the light seems to be generating from the horizon upward, like in an arc of light, a flooding of light, a pool of light. Not, as you would expect, from above with lightning bolts coming down. Or these days, I've even seen them sideways. We used to only have sideways bolts with heat lightning far up in the atmosphere. And now it seems they're happening lower. And again, that's another odd phenomenon lately. But anyway, as we progress, again, everything seems to be flashing up from the horizon. So I thought that was just a little bit curious. So now in the latter part of the sequence, again, horizon. This one seems to be above, but like a light from above with, you know, flooding light down below. No bolt, you know, clearly. Same thing here. And as we move along, um, just things got strange. Still, you know, light emanating from the uh, horizon. So at the same time, I'm showing this to remind myself to tell you, uh, this little bright white orb was happening as well. And in one frame, it was like over this tree, and the next frame, it was over here. So it's not a star. It was something traveling. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with the quote-unquote lightning flashes, but we'll take a look at that a little more now. Okay, so here's that in that first, um, very first picture in the lightning sequence. Look at this. Looks like a ball or a hexagon or octagon of some type. And then just a split second later, no kidding, it it's over here where the cursor is. So it jumps over to here. And at the same time, like light coming from above in the distance, but not bolts of lightning, more like lights shining down. So then in another frame two, we're looking at one of those horizon flash out ones. Look at this. These look almost like car headlights. They're distinct lights or lamps. Um, I don't know if they're orbs or if there's some type of human artificial tech or something supernatural. I'm not sure, but I'm just leaving it here for you to look at and then to also compare notes um, with storms that might be happening around where you live and see if you see anything, let's just say, interesting or not, not typical. 
of you know decades past. This this kind of phenomena seems to be happening more and more intensified in the last four years from what I've noticed in my locale. So here we go. The lower photo is that one that seemed to have kind of like a lamp above putting a floodlight effect down below. So in the upper left hand corner you see a bright source and then the light below. In the upper middle, again, kind of another frame of that light source. And then to the right, I zoomed in and voila, look at that. You see a hexagon. I mean, that's pretty clear. Now, yes, that could be formed from some of the trees a little bit, but you definitely see structure to this thing. So again, it's some type of lamp or orb. It's definitely not a lightning bolt. I think we can agree on that. Okay, another part of that same uh, other lightning sequence. This is that thing, if you notice where my cursor is moving in a circle in the center of the screen, that's where I first saw that little white orb. And then a split second later, in the next frame, it's over here. So there it is here. So you can see, uh, I know it's dark, but in the lower uh, photo where my cursor is going, there's that little bump in the vegetation profile right there. So it's there. So you can definitely see it moved from being near this clump of tree over to here. So it's traveling, you know, within a split second on a frame. So it's not a star. I'm not sure what it is, but um, and I actually don't know if that's, again, interconnected to those lamp flashes or if it's independent. I don't know, but you decide. Okay, now this is lightning happening at sunrise, crack of sunrise. So I looked off in the distance, the left photo is no lightning. The next one is with some quote-unquote lightning. But again, there were no bolts, but I thought, well, maybe I just don't see them behind all this cloud cover. And again, that might be something back in there. But anyway, to the right, um, I got the flash, and look at this, two more bright sources. So in the upper right-hand corner, I enhanced the contrast and a few other things, and you see two balls or two something, you know, that look behave not like lightning, let's just say. And then over here, um, where my cursor is to the left, that was just another thing kind of showing a roundish or clear um, object, not a lightning bolt, you know. So again, something odd is happening with our lightning. Okay, now this is looking at su uh, sunset, but to the southeast. And I was catching this while I was actually observing the sunset to the opposite side. And I took video because there's some real weird lightning flashes happening and they were so intense. They like blanket brighted out the entire, you know, area. It wasn't like a bolt which had some directional flash. It was just crazy. So I thought, let me slow this down and take some stills. So here you go. Again, we have flash emanating from the horizon, not from above in any bolt form or even horizontal. And here we go. It flashes a little more intense. Now, it flashed so artificial in like LED pure white light fashion that it split my screen and digitally, and that does not happen with normal lightning uh, with my camera. Now, here to the lower right, I just um, enhanced things and, you know, brought things out, trying to get at if I saw any other light sources happening in that upper right photo. I really couldn't, but I got some interesting shapes. So anyway, I'll leave that for you to ponder and look, look a little longer on your own, and maybe you see something. Okay, now here's where we get to the cloaking sky part of the show. Craft, or is it cloaking craft and interdimensional objects? We're going to get into that. So here's where it starts to get really interesting. Um, this is just kind of a, a little placeholder, though, to get into the real interesting stuff for me to remember to shift into that part of the show. So here we go. This is kind of boat-like. This was happening at 4.15, looking west. And this whole scene captured my attention. Uh, I was fueling the car with gas, actually, and looking off. And I first noticed, like, what is going on with all this different cloud type, these weird smudge outs, you know, those were visible. And then you have this clear, distinct object floating along. And then you have this, like, cacophony of cumulus cloud happening below. So I took the picture. Now, to me, this is a cloaking craft, but probably maybe even a distraction to other stuff happening all around. Who knows? So I zoomed in, changed the contrast and color. You know, you can definitely see an inverted, like, you know, triangular shape here, something with structure to it here, but it's not as clear as I'd like, so we're going to get some other more clear examples of cloaking craft. And here's this little telltale triangle I keep seeing pop up everywhere in the skies now. It's a triangle that has like a, like a, a curve to the bottom and then a distinct edges to it. Anyway, I have covered those in other shows, and I'm sure we'll be seeing more in the future. All right, now this is a glaring sphere, white glaring spheres, and cloak and craft at sunset slide. Uh, we'll get into detail in the coming slides, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. But you notice, look how glaring this is. And here it looks like something weird, is, very weird is happening with the sun. And it's very black and white, so I did not alter any of the color or anything on this. This is what you see is what you get. It just made everything look black and white. It was just that glaring. So here we go. Here's the photo I zoomed in on. 
look at this, I'm looking, okay, a cloud coming in, or is it? Because <laughs> it had really dark, dark blacks that would not fade away when I altered the photos. But above all, look at this structure. This is a symmetrical piece hanging out on top of what looks like cloaking cloud. And here I zoomed up in the upper right, you can very see, hopefully you see what I see, it's a very clear symmetrical uh, configuration. So it looks like here's a loop and here's a loop with a little divider. Looks like the uh, like a, a front of a nose of an animal, <laughs> but symmetrical and uh, has geometry to it. So I thought that was curious. And then I started to put together that, oh my God, this is probably a cloaking craft. And that could be either like a periscope lookout or some type of a porthole, like where it's, you know, receiving air or expelling air or whatever. Uh, anyway, I thought it was very curious. I leave that to you to look at further also. Come up with your own conclusions and let me know if you have any interesting angles. Put that in the comment section below. Now, I lightened it all up a little bit more just in case you couldn't see too much from the previous photo. And again, this even looks like it has triangular structure to it or in an inverted triangle and inverted triangle here. And again, there's that little object poking out. So think, you know, look at it, see what you think that is. For now, I'm just calling it Bulk Cruiser at Sunset. Any of you who are Star Wars fans kind of know what I'm um, winking to, but that's the word that came up when I looked at the shape. Okay, now again, Cloak and Craft and Strange Suns, plural, at Sunset. And to the left here, this looks like a Cloak and Craft cluster. We'll zoom in on that soon. This could be two down here. And I'm saying, okay, what is going on with the sun? Actually, plural, suns, because you see distinct shapes here, and we'll look at that too in more detail. All right, so first that cloak and craft question. So is this, this has direct structure, very clear structure to it, okay? Looks like cloud is, is um, obscuring this overall structure that's popped out here. So is this one master cloak and craft with a subfleet on its deck, or is it an optical illusion and it's flying alongside of this? Or is it not a fleet, but also just one craft? Who knows? But on the upper right hand corner, I enhanced it and put contrast, different colors, sometimes helps us see things in different ways. But I'm still seeing very much so some structure here and also down here. So I'll leave it to you to think what you think that is, but I definitely see craft. Okay, now this is suns and artificial sun question mark at sunset. So now we get a, a closer look at that sun. I can't talk about the craft and not talk about, you know, the obvious thing happening there with the sun. So look at this, follow my cursor. That's a clear profile of a ball, clear profile of another ball, the outcropping maybe of another one. So I started to, in the upper right hand corner, put a circle over the original ball. Okay, because that's got a clear profile. And then the blue line is another clear profile we put into the blue circle uh, to follow that line here. And then um, I put a circle around the other little outcropping and shown in orange up here. And then what was remaining, I put in white. So if you've seen some of my own previous shows and other Earth and sky watching channels, we're all talking about this. Is there some type of technology up in the sky that's obscuring or changing our perception of the sun and how the sun is radiating heat and light out you know, to the Earth? I think the answer is yes, and you will see why. But investigate this on your own too. But I'm just looking at this with the naked eye. No, no nothing, you know. Uh, that's all I need to notice something is, is not right with the sun. Also in the last four years, it's been bright, white, and glaring, and it's intensely hot in ways that never was before. And being here for decades on this planet, I can tell you there was a difference between the warmer, softer, golden sun uh, versus now, and its rays and the effect of its light. So anyway, have a look on your own too, and, and literally have a look up in the skies and see what you're finding. If you're gonna look at the sun, do wear eye protection, only look very quickly or get the proper filters. But otherwise, you can also just snap a ca uh, camera shot if you have a camera phone or other similar device, just kind of aim toward it and shoot without looking, and then you can look at your photo later. You're gonna see stuff like this. So anyway, also, yeah, it looked like another uh, cloaking craft here near the sun as well. So back to the upper right photo. Um, this is what looks like it's going on. There might be some type of artificial sun. Maybe our original sun is beyond it. And then it looks like uh, some other objects to the left and right of it. And in telescopes from space, you can also see kind of in a sauna, sonogram style, um, you know, two other round spheres happening near the sun. So I do believe that's these. And I do believe at least one of them, maybe the smaller one is orbiting, if not both. But I think this is undeniable. Something is happening up there worth looking at and worth questioning. Uh, so have at it and have fun. All right, now here is a cloak and craft or interdimensional objects, question mark, happening um, at sunset. 
And at first I just noticed that's weird, you know, it seems like the Cloak and Craft might be what's in the void, and this is, you know, just stuff, a song and dance to try to hide that fact. Um, but the more I looked, I'm like, oh, these look like definite cloaking objects to me. So this looks like an ellipse with a weird, like, uh, moon crater type effect on the outside. And um, these are kind of smudge out, so I'm not sure what's happening there. And this looks like another kind of fuzzy ellipse or pointed ellipse shape. Um, so I'm going to highlight those in the next slide. But it also looks like two people talking to each other and maybe shaking hands. So that looks like a, the back and like an arm and, and an arm here. And it just looks like they're carrying these objects on their back. And maybe they're like winged figures. I don't know. See what you think. And again, if you have any creative or interesting angles on this or per perspectives, please let me know in the comment section below. All right, so here's a zoom in on the, the, what I was calling these two figures, like talking to each other. But here's that egg shape, and down here I outlined it just for emphasis. And over here it looks like a pointed ellipse, so I'm just kind of marking the territory. It actually goes quite a bit down. It looks like somebody's hugging or holding this thing. Uh, see what you think. Whenever I see these bars, again, they're telltale signs of camouflage at play or something arriving and creating gravitational waves in the atmosphere. Okay, this one's a lot of fun. This one is called... Oh, um, I don't think I gave it a name, but it's like Odin or Zeus's face with a shield and uh, like a like a, Nord uh, a Norse, Norseman's ship. So I zoomed in on this, took a picture because it just looked odd, okay? It looked like a cloud falling apart, yes, maybe, but it had too much structure in it to kind of really just be that. So on the image below, I changed the contrast and the color, a few other things to bring out some more details, and it really looks like a lot of structure in there. This, in fact, where my cursor is, looks like a shield with a, a cross on it. And this starts to look like a face of Zeus or Odin, to me anyway. It looks like an elderly, you know, gentleman with, with a white, white mustache, two eyes, and his hair going this way, and the mouth would be, would be here if you can see what I'm seeing. Um, I zoomed in on the left-hand side. Here it is again. Sometimes if you squint or, you know, reduce this down to the size of thumbnail, you'll see it better, too, as the face. So the hair flipped over here, the white hair, the two eyes, the nose, the mustache and beard and mouth. Now here's a zoom in on that, what I'm calling a shield you know, perfect circle, and that looks like a perfect cross. That's going to be important later, coming up in an, another few slides as well. So see what you think. Actually, somebody else I showed this to thought this was more like Yoda, uh, with two eyes and the, and the front of the mouth and face and the ears. <laughs> so see what you see. Again, let me know if you had come up with anything fun. Okay, now this slide comes in, was kindly sent in by Aesthetic Girl, as Aesthetic Girl was out on the road in, in Florida. So... This is just called Void or Shadow Sky Beam and Orange Pink at Sunrise. So here we have this obvious negative void or shadow beam. Now question, what object is blocking the sun to create this thing? A uh, hint, it is not the tree in the foreground here that's nearby in the foreground. So that's just a little wink joke there. But obviously what, what's in the way that's, that's creating this beam? You know, if you're looking at light physics, something has to be like uh, obstructing the light to cause that, presumably. And of course, at, at the horizon line, we've got this thick blanket of dark cloud, which is consistent all over the world, it keeps happening, hiding our view uh, so that we cannot see the actual sun's uh, sunrise, and it's also happening at sunset. Uh, anyhow, we move on. I decided, um, as she was getting that footage elsewhere, miles and miles away, I thought I would go out where I was and see what was going on a little bit later. So about a half hour later. So I have the moon, as you can see that it's to the southwest, at the south at the same time there's this weird cloud with a triangular cutout and a smudge in front. Then a little bit later this weird cloud stuff started shooting up. That's not somebody's barbecue or anything. That was just, I don't know where that's coming from in the sky. Uh, it was very low. I don't know what's causing it. There's the moon beyond. Uh, but then back toward the northeast, that's right, not east where sunrise should be, but northeast, far northeast, um, just saw kind of like this muddy, uh, not even golden light, just barely yellow-brown light. Um, later on, it's coming out through this thick haze and cloud, and then bam, it just turns on like somebody's hitting a switch to glaring white light. And I do mean glaring. I really couldn't even look at this thing. So... As we move along, though, I, I do like when we get those glaring white hazy conditions because it pops out interesting, let's just say interesting craft or other things floating around in the sky. And here's an example. So where my cursor is, it looked like a floating walnut. It had weird texture to it, weird shape, a weird color. It just didn't fit with the rest of the hazy cloud activity. So I zoomed in and changed the contrast in the picture on the right, and you will see, you know, very strange activity happening. Nothing, you know, that matches anything else in its quote-unquote neighborhood. And you look above, there are also some strange objects happening here. 
So I decided to zoom in further, and voila, look at this. The bottom photo, that's natural. I've not changed anything, um, but the way the light was, it really made this look like a bas relief. Really pretty cool. So to me, this looks like the head of a whale, like the mouth curve and the eye and the underbelly. But as I more I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this looks like a craft. And look, here's that circle with the cross again. And this looks like a shield with, you know, markings on it as well. This one also looks like it has a little triangle cut tucked in in the corner. So I thought that was really odd, because remember, in the upper left, I was talking about the uh, shield on that Odin slash Zeus ship, right? And this really reminded me of it immediately. So in the upper right, I changed the contrast um, and a few other things. And yes, look at that thing. And then so to me, this becomes a ship. So a, a craft of some sort. And whether it's interdimensional or an actual object cloaked, I don't know. But it looked like the cockpit and some of the shield work and the back part of this quote-unquote ship. And then I thought this was just an extension of it, but it really looks like a different character. So it almost looks like a race car ship, if you will, following this thing. Either they are, you know, on the same team or this thing is following it and shooting things at it. So that I'm not sure. We're going to look a little more closely. So here's that thing I'm calling like the little race car spaceship. And that does look like it's like in pursuit, but maybe they're just traveling together. I don't know. But I changed the contrast even further, and look, here's the front of that quote-unquote race craft. And then these would be like uh, the pl plasma or laser or other fired object, who knows. It just looks very strange. I thought I'd bring it to your attention and share. Uh, see what you think could be happening there. Okay, now I like to close the show on a note of nature, especially if I can ground us back down literally. So we're going to look at the Halloween pennant dragonflies. And they love to just uh, perch on the top of a blade of grass or edges of palm fronds. I'm going to let you read all the specifics about it, just again for time's sake. Uh, they are very welcomed, um, uh, welcomed in South Florida just because they really help keep the mosquito population down, which is otherwise vicious on humans. All right, so I want to say thank you for pausing here a while. This is a friendly neighborhood cat who tends to like to sneak up on me and surprise me in the dark at night when I'm looking through the telescope sometimes. But friendly, I think he was just uh, being courteous and letting me take the photo because he was right in the middle on hot pursuit of something on the hunt. And I think he was a little irritated that I stopped him and paused him. But anyway, uh, have a rest of a beautiful weekend, everybody. If it is still weekend where you are, if you're already kicking off the new week, have a great one. Just know I wish you all the best. Uh, and, um, you know, just go get that week. Take care, everyone. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.